What's up, Eddies? I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon and this bitch. Join me as I read you your motherfucking lives, baby. Thank you to everyone who has liked, shared, commented, subscribed to my channel. You already know I appreciate each and every single one of you motherfuckers. Yes, I do, baby. And if you need to get a personal reading from me, hit that description box down below. Check out my website, laurelsmoon.com, for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. So, Spirit, you are welcome in to this reading. You must save the cards for my Eddie's gods, baby. Let's see what's going down for the 11th through the 18th, June 2020. We're going to find out what's popping with you, overall energies, what's crowning you, and then we're going to see what's going down in the love department. What's to come, uh, what to look out for, and possible outcomes. So, let's get right on into it. We're going to use these career path, these career and life path opportunities. Eddie's darlings. I didn't have any clear audience messages, but I have infinite abundance. You're fully supported as you devote yourself to your divine life's purpose. So you have a lot of abundance in whatever it is that you're doing. Eddie's, whatever your heart desires, there's definitely something that's coming to that energy. I feel with your heart, you're protecting it, but it also you're also seeing things for reality and what they are. I feel some of you guys are definitely spreading your rain, your wings. And I'm also seeing that some of you guys could be dealing with food and nutrients as well. And this could be you taking on some new culinary school, uh, culinary school, culinary skills. These skills could be just what you eat at home, changing up what you're eating. Also, cooking could be very relative to what it is that you're doing to change things up. So, you got crystals here as well. I believe Gemini also got uh, crystals. But it says your connection to crystals and gemstones is a channel. A channel for healing energy. So, some of you guys are understanding those channels. You got spiritual teacher here as well. So, I'm getting that you're opening up a lot of channels. This could be towards healing. But I'm also getting um, that as you're doing this... You're definitely coming to a lot of conclusions. You're working very, very progressively is what I'm seeing here. You have the Ace of Cups as well. So definitely a lot of love surrounding this energy that creates healing. This could be offers that's coming towards you, baby, but I see that you're working very diligently. I'm also getting that for some of you guys. You got some real good messages that could be coming in with the Page of Cups. It also could be some obsession here as well or somebody who's obsessing over you cancer pisces scorpio also capricorn energy okay look at that devil trying to eat that pie baby okay <laughs> so i get that some of you guys you know somebody might be trying to get up in their panties or them drawers baby you got the devil's temptation around this motherfucker so I feel like some of you guys might be eating a cake, anime, but there's definitely something tempting here that will be coming with an offer. You're going to have to figure out how you're going to juggle this balance, baby. Okay, and balance and juggle and balance. So let's see what the romance angels have to say to my Eddies. Here we go, baby. Romance angels. We got keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations and soulmate all right now yes this is your soulmate we also have healing family issues and true love so i'm seeing that there's a real conversation that you guys are going to be having with your true love okay seeing if it's a love or also seeing if it's just a partnership that you need to work on or things that you're going to have to heal from but you got major attraction coming in eddie's so let's see what's popping. We're going to get these cards and see what's going on in your love life. I'm definitely getting um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy with the Knight of Swords here. Let's see what's going on. 
I'm also seeing the lover's energy. So definitely a lot of Gemini. This could be partnerships, choices, okay, duality. You have the two of one, two of wands, also seven of cups. So yeah, definitely dealing with a lot of choices and duality here. I feel between you and your partner, somebody's keeping their options open, but they're going to have to make a decision on which way they're expanding to. Okay, somebody's definitely thinking about the love offers that's coming in because you do have love offers. Three of cups, ace of cups here, queen of cups. So I'm seeing that somebody has a lot of love that's running deep, okay? But I'm also getting this could be temptation to you. Could be a lot of drinking that's involved as well for some of you guys. But I'm seeing a lot of friendships and love that's coming together. Some of you guys might be too mothering, but I'm definitely getting that uh, there's a lot of love that's going to be coming towards you. And you're going to have to walk away for a bit and make a choice, make a decision here. Some of you guys might feel like you're you're on the fence or you're straddling the fence between how you're going to make a decision. Let's see what's to come for my eddies. What's to come for my eddies for the 8th through the 11th? Two of Cups. The Devil again. Uh-oh, Queen of Pentacles. So this is what that finances and those careers are all about. You might be dealing with somebody who's having some economic hardship, economic hardships. But I'm getting with this two of cup here. You're going to have to figure out if this is worth the long-term investment, if it's worth even juggling, okay? Because I'm getting that there's love that's coming in with this ten of cups here. Is what's to come. Could be a family or a connection. Some of you guys might feel like their uh, communication is a little off or thrown off. Could be somebody from a distance, page of swords, somebody that's watching you. Eddie's, I think this person's been watching you for quite some time. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But they're getting ready to come out in the open with it. Ten of Cups here. Let's see what you don't see. Because I feel like this is running into that. What you don't see. Page of Cups. Somebody's spying on you for sure. They're taking a look. She, this bitch got her binoculars. Okay. So leaving some old shit behind is what I'm getting here. Especially your attitudes or differences of opinions. I feel like with the Seven of Wands in reverse, somebody's dropping their guard down. They might feel like there could be some sort of injustice that might happen. But I feel somebody's definitely dropping their guard and gaining some light with the Hermit energy here. Is what you don't see. Somebody could be finding some alone time. Yeah, because I have the Eight of Swords here. Somebody's... I'm getting that your person could be really in their head. They're waiting for somebody to send the love. Empress energy, Ace of Wands. It could be somebody who's lost a lot of passion. But they're still awaiting to see uh, how this is going to turn about. I'm getting a lot of spiritual energy here that brings in truths. Or somebody who's sitting in their reflection. Could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're sitting in your reflection about a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And wanting some sort of truth here with the Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, Lover's Energy. So like I said, a lot of dualities and truths that's coming about. Could be dealing with Scorpio. But I feel like somebody's wanting to start over. Give me three more cards for my Eddies. Here we go. Three more cards for what you don't see for my Eddies. Page of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, and Strength Energy here. I'm getting there's a lot of, there's a friendship here that somebody's wanting. It could be that you're traveling back and forth, okay, but you're more obtained, you're more ready to obtain the new skills or that new offer more than you are love, but I do see a lot of friendship here, Eddies, okay? Somebody who's got this companion, Next to them, Ten of Pentacles. I'm seeing you guys are doing some traveling as well. Okay, now with this Ten of Pentacles here and also with the Four of Pentacles, this bitch is sitting on the suitcase. So some of you guys could be sitting on the money or sitting, uh, you know, sitting pretty, waiting on the money. But definitely a lot of legacy here with this Ten of Pentacles. I feel like there's money trees or something that's growing. Yeah, definitely a lot of Ten. So you're coming out of some bullshit but i do see um that your person is going to be trying to work on the situation it could be that somebody's more particular worried about their work environment and building up their energy but i see somebody is really getting ready to make a move towards you this could be leo sagittarius aries nine of cups they're making things in alignment here if you see those cups behind her also six of wands so something's definitely coming up that they're wanting some success 
Let's see what these soulmate uh, cards have to say. And then I'm going to see what the rebel messages have to say. Give me something for my Eddies. It says you will meet your soulmate when the time is right. And the hottest love has the coldest end. So Eddies, I'm seeing a lot of fiery energy. <laughs> Y'all hear the ambulance? It says never give up on something that you really want. So whatever starts fast is going to end it's gonna end fast okay and it might end with a cold broken heart but it's definitely time to think about rushing or if you want to rush into certain things you're gonna have to take a look at what you're working with with other people who you truly love and what love is to you okay but it's saying don't talk to anyone don't look at anyone you need some fucking time alone and you know why so some of you guys could have been a hermit or could have been closing yourself off you could have been celibate all right, saying you're acting like a big ass baby. Have you eaten? You need food in your belly. Eat a taco. So when you start getting hungry, you might be getting bitchy. Okay, but it says sleeping so damn much. Stop it. Wake up. You're missing some cool ass shit. And you also have money bags, baby. Make it rain on them hoes. And it says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. You got some love coming towards you, but don't overanalyze shit. Okay, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to get the oracles for my eddies somebody's waiting for you to get that shit done waiting for you to handle something said it's time to be brave okay and also breaking down something's getting ready to break here that's going to make you be brave you might have felt bored or stuck in a situation but i'm definitely getting that for a lot of you eddies it's time to not lose hope in a situation. Don't overanalyze because you have love that could be coming up that is strange, baby. Okay, something's very fiery. We got the fire engines, fire trucks, and the sirens. So it could be something that's alarming to you. Not to give up hope because love is definitely coming up. All right, we got the hottest love has the coldest end. So my loves, definitely think about all of this. Because I feel like there's something coming up you're going to have to make a choice to that makes you feel a little bit more renewed and a little bit more restored in your in your own faith. Because you have the four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So you got a family foundation or love that's definitely coming in. But just keep it hot. All right. <laughs> All right, my loves. If you need to get a personal reading for me. Make sure that you hit that description box down below and check out my website, laurelsmoon.com for any other magical purposes and deviation workings and things of that nature. I will see you guys in the next motherfucking video. Peace.